Perfect. My name is Jessica Hill. One of the courses I teach is an asynchronous online course. Introduction to Medical Genetics, or MGY250, is a second year course. It's an elective course, and it has about 420 students enrolled at this point in time. In MGY250, one of the objectives is to get students to think critically about ethical issues surrounding uh, genome sequencing. Probably the biggest issue that we've faced in grading in this large course is partially because it's an online asynchronous course. We find that enrollment really uh, varies in the course. So when it starts, I might have 200 students enrolled and then that'll double in size before two weeks have gone by in the course. In this course, we provided feedback in a number of ways. I tried to set the expectations for the students. When we had such a, a ratio of students to TAs that limited the amount of feedback that we were able to give, we also used Peer Scholar, which is software that allows for self-reflection as well as peer review within the assignment submission process. And they, I also created a video providing feedback on the common pitfalls that we encountered when marking the student assignments. And so within those videos, I was able as well to maybe teach the students a little bit about some of the areas where they could have improved. So when a student wants to challenge a grade, uh, we have a process in place and that kind of came about through trial and error. After the students receive their grades, they need to wait 24 hours before they can submit a request for a regrade, but they also have to submit it uh, within a week of that period of time. So then with respect to what they actually have to send, they need to send an email to me explaining why they think they deserved a higher mark with respect to a certain category on the rubric and an explanation of what they've done in their submission to justify that higher mark. And so if they're able to do that, then I'll go and regrade it. And typically the students that are able to do that do achieve the higher marks. I think that this process requires the students to self-reflect and to gain a better understanding as to why they achieved a mark that they did. I think having a, um, a very structured way that we're asking for student remarks for um, assignments has led to a decrease in the overall number of requests and an increase in the quality of the requests.